Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. This is John with Tommy's Top Picks. Just a quick reminder, hit that subscribe button, ring-a-ding-ding -ding that bell if you haven't yet. We'd like to have you on our list. We're getting close to the subscription, 100 subscription giveaway, so we want to get those uh, subscribers in, give you a chance to win some boxes of goods. Uh, this is just going to be a real quick ma mail day. Uh, I think both of these are spice. I know one of them is. Uh, so I'm very excited to get into it. So let's do it. Let's see what we got. Let's see how much spice we got. So one of these is from a person I buy from uh, pretty frequently. Uh, Richard Wells. Great dude. Often selling in the discords and the like. Uh, it's great to do some business with him. All right. So this one is not any sort of serious spice. This was part of one of the collections I wanted to get going, which is to say pink stripped first edition Welcome to Wrath cards. Started to collect a few of these. I now have more than a handful of not just overpower, but like your um, snatches, pummels, uh, sink belows, and there's at least one other that comes in uh, the pink stripe. Um, so I've just been looking for these, trying to trying to get them uh, before they're hard to find because uh, first edition is relatively rare these days, and, and these cards are you know a dollar or two, but they're one of those things that will end up being in the long term uh, greater value. All right, so this is the real spice. Oh, the packaging is going to be a pain. Hold on a second. There's cellophane. <laughs> there's cellophane involved. Oh my goodness. Well, at least there's a hard case. I can just slice right through the cellophane, I think. I hope. Do not want to damage this. Like I said, it's the real spice. We're almost there. Sorry about that. Last little bit. It's all coming off now. All right, yeah, glorious, beautiful. Hmm, yes. Finally got it. Oops, a little too much glare there. Let's get you at an angle that will demonstrate the beauty of the coal foil. I'm not finding the light. Well, it's a coal. Oh, wait, there it is, sort of. Kind of see it there. It's a little bit too glary, but just you get a basic idea. Hmm. So pretty. So good. I am happy I got this. There you go. That was a bit better. It looks so nice. This is probably my favorite of the gems uh, from a visual artistic perspective. I just like the the weave and all that stuff going on in there. And I, I like the, was that malachite or whatever the stone is? I think it's malachite. Um, or jade maybe. I don't know. But looks really cool. Also probably one of the more usable ones. Although I think there's use for all of them eventually. Um, but I just had to get it. And I am glad I did. Because I got it at a $400 price point. When it was going for about. I was say $410. $420. Something like that. So I did my underbid thing. Someone said. I actually bid even lower. And they negotiated back. Which I appreciate. I was I, I'm 100% okay with you pushing back on me. And we ended up meeting in the middle. Uh, very happy we did that and uh, closed the transaction, had it sent over, and uh, now there's been a buyout. So they're going for 512 to $520 each. Uh, so definitely one out on that negotiation in the end. Um, but you never know how these things go. And I say, you know, if, if I were on the other side of the transaction, I'd probably do it too. Uh, because, I mean, if I didn't have one. Um, or if I had one, rather, because what ends up happening is usually these things drop in price, which I do think it will from where it is now. It's just the buyout helped create a much higher floor, I believe. We shall see in the next coming weeks. As I've said before, these first weeks are volatile and likely to see downward pressure as boxes kind of stream out and people start opening them. Um, so expect some downward pressure. But so far, the big hit stuff is all holding uh, up pretty well, with the exception of a few of the... Uh, art pieces, the uh, full art pieces are are trickling down a little bit. Not a lot. Like pulverizes 94 instead of 100, right? Winds of Eternity 98 instead of 100. Like not a lot. Um, but Aether is all the way down to 51, which was at 70 just a few weeks ago. And then, of course, your Skullcap is back up to 88. It had gotten down as far as 70 or so. Eisenloff um, is holding up 120. It's I think that's its par price. I don't think you'll see it lower than that or much lower than that because it's too useful. People are buying it. Um, Granger of Valahai, I'm thinking 
it might trickle below 500, you know, maybe as low as 450 if we get a big uh, supply of them coming in. But in reality, I'm thinking around that 500 is kind of its its stable price point. Uh, the Earth's Lord Bounty seems to be dropping off. I think people got to play with their um, Valdas and enjoy it, but not necessarily like the biggest, baddest thing in the world. Maybe not seeing it as useful in the Starvo builds as they thought it would be originally. So it seems like it's trickling down a little bit. All good. And then, of course, your Gloom Veil, which was all the way up at $22 for just a regular Majestic. Has come back down to seven fifty or seventeen fifty. I think post SCG Con uh, results showing that the Rune Blade is not overpowered this set, right? Even with that Gloom Veil. So I think what's happening is we're seeing the reaction of the markets, um, and that is leading to where we are. So we will see where it goes. But either way, that was a good spec. Even if it wasn't, I don't care. I wanted it for the collection. I have one of every single one of these. Um, what are they called? The Fables. Uh, unfortunately, the early sets, I do not have the coal foil. So, you know, since then, since I've been collecting uh, Monarch basically and beyond, I got a coal foil for every freaking set. I will never miss this again going forward. I want one for the collection because they will just hold up in value over time. They're a good collection piece. So that is just what I will be doing. And it looks like other people agree because they did a buyout on it. So anyways, that's it. Real quick one for today. I thought it was worth sharing because I was very happy about getting both these pieces. And... Uh, I hope you're having fun out there, cracking packs, playing games, having a good time. Me and Tommy sure are. We're looking forward to our pro quest. By the time you hear this, we probably have finished one of them and uh, looking at a second one because it looks like we will be doing a second one. So can't wait to share the results with you. Anyways, I hope you guys have a good one.